Welcome back. Guess who's here with another great story. It's entitled, Grandma, Where Are You? We see here the pictures were done by Emily Boone. There's some nice pictures, right? With the little hippo. He's hiding some flowers behind his back. I bet you he has those flowers for his grandma. Well, this is a little book that you're going to have to lift a flap up to find out where his grandma is. That should be fun, huh? All right, let's see. Grandma, where are you? These pictures was done by Emily Boone, and it was published by the Sterling Publishing Company Incorporated. Excuse me. I'm waiting for my grandma. Oh, look at little hippo standing on books, trying to look out the window, waiting for her, his grandma. She must be coming for a visit. And I guess he's been busy playing with his teddy bear and his choo-choo train and the ball, and he can't wait for his grandma to come. Do you like it when your grandma comes and visits you? Grandma, is that you? Ooh, somebody's at the door. Let's open it and see. It's Grandma. Grandma says, I'm here. Did you miss me? I love you, little hippo. Come and kiss me. I bet you give your grandma some nice big kisses too, don't you? She loves that. That makes her happy. Grandma, I can't see you. Ooh, where is Grandma? Is she behind these sheets? There she is. Grandma says, It's Wendy. Your pinwheel's doing fine. I'm almost finished pulling clothes off the line. Yep, she's behind the sheets trying to pull off all the clothes and bring them in the house to fold them up. And here's little Hippo waiting with his pinwheel. You know what a pinwheel is? It's a little round thing on a stick and when the wind blows, it turns around and around and around. Maybe you, you've had one or will get one soon. Ask your mama to get you a pinwheel. They're fun in the wind. Grandma, where are you? Where is Grandma? Looks like she might be out in the garden. This looks like a garden. See those carrots there and some lettuce? All kinds of good things to eat. Let's see. Let's open up the gate. Oh, there's Grandma. She's been working in the garden. Doesn't she look cute with her little hat on, with the little flowers in it? Little Hippo, says Grandma, I see you at the gate. Would you like a carrot? I know it's hard to wait. Oh, she picked a carrot just for him. You know carrots are very good for you to eat? They're healthy. That's a nice little snack. And it can be a vegetable at nighttime when you're having dinner. Grandma, what are you doing? He looks like he might be hungry. I see pots and pans and an empty bowl right here. Let's see, where's Grandma? I'm in the kitchen. Lunch is in the pot. Can't wait yet, it's still too, can't eat yet, it's still too hot. Oh, I bet you she's making him some soup or something. Or maybe some oodles or noodles. What do you think? But whatever it is, it's still too hot. He can't eat it yet. You gotta blow it off till it gets cool. Grandma, where are you? Now what does he get ready to do? You notice he took off his clothes. See? He had clothes on, his pants on. Now he doesn't have anything on. But I see a rubber ducky. I see some towels. And I see the little boat that floats in water. I bet you he's getting ready to take a bath. You think so? Do you take a rubber ducky or a boat or something when you get taken a bath? I bet you do. Let's see, here's the shower curtain. Uh-oh, Grandma beat him to the tub. She's getting her bath first. Grandma's getting clean 
She's in the tub. Bubbles in the bath. Rubber dub dub. Ah, that's funny. He was getting ready to take a bath, but Grandma beat him to it. Oh, here's Grandma. Looks like she has her nightgown on and a little book. I bet you she's going to read him a bedtime story. Oh, but wait a minute. Where is he? He's not in bed. So Grandma says, Little Hippo, where are you? Do you see him? I don't see him. Oh, wait a minute. Here's a flap. He's hiding under the bed. Here I am. I'm hiding. You know, he fooled Grandma this time. He was always looking for her. Now she is looking for him. Grandma gives a good night kiss. Sweet dreams, she says, my little hippo. Oh, that was so sweet. Did you enjoy this book? I did, and I hope you did too. Now you be good and come back because I have another story for you. Bye.